What's up guys? Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tutorial for you. So in today's video we're going to check out how to quickly create a section elevation inside of your models without using a section plane. Before we get started today's video is brought to you by PlusSpec. PlusSpec is a powerful extension for SketchUp specifically designed for professional designers and builders. PlusSpec automates not only the design process but also layers, textures, shadows, scenes, and much more. Everything you draw in plus spec is parametric, giving you the freedom to make changes to anything in your model at any time. Additionally, plus spec allows you to create priced material takeoffs and 2D plans. Learning is easy with inbuilt tutorials that allow you to create 3D models and 2D plans instantly. If you're looking for more information about plus spec, you can check it out at the sketchupessentials.com slash plus spec. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so th there's an easy way to create a section cut of a building inside of SketchUp, and that's to use a section plane. And so first off, this is a model that I've down downloaded from the 3D Warehouse. It's the Hungarian House by SZ Kristoff. And I will pull that up in the 3D Warehouse just so you guys can see the name, just so you can download it if you want to. So there you go. So if you want to download the model, it's just Hungarian House by SZ Kristoff. Um, and you can use that to follow along. But what I'm gonna do in this model is I wanna take a section cut and get kind of a look at this whole building across the way. So um, I wanna be able to look on the inside of this whole building. And if you remember, there's one way where you can come in here and you can add a section cut just by clicking on the section plane options. And you can add as many section planes as you want inside of this building. So you can see how what the section plane does is this gives you a cut through the building Building, and then you could turn on parallel projection and get a straight up and down view like that. And then that would allow you to adjust things like the, uh, the section cut fills and other things like that. But sometimes the problem with that is you start getting a lot of different section planes inside of your model. So if you turn on all of these that are in here, you can see how what, what happens is this starts adding a whole bunch of different section planes in your model. Well, sometimes you don't necessarily want that. Sometimes you just want a view inside your building without having to actually add a whole bunch of planes and cuts and things like that. And so there's actually a workaround for this that you can use in order to do that. And that is to use the first person camera tools position camera function. And so this is only gonna work in conjunction with you being in parallel projection mode. So it's not really gonna work quite as well inside of perspective mode, but basically the way that it works, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn on parallel projection is you just pick a point and it's gonna be the point from which you want to see inside your building and you just activate this position camera tool and you just click and you drag in order to set your camera up along an axis. So in this case, I'm gonna drag this along the green axis and I'm gonna let up on it. Well, what you're gonna notice when you do this is this actually gives you a section cut view from inside of your building. So you can see how basically that's, this sets your camera up as if you were standing at that point looking forward. And so that doesn't work quite as well in perspective mode. You can see if you try to do this in perspective mode, what it's gonna do instead, if we zoom extents here, is it's just gonna kind of give you this weird view inside of your building and you could like set your eye height or something like that but you can see how it's not really giving you a cut through the wall. If you try to zoom out, you're not really getting that view cut through here. And so what I wanna do instead is I wanna make sure that I go to camera, parallel projection, and then I wanna do this. So go down to position camera in your large tool set and we're just gonna click a point we're just gonna drag along the green axis. And uh, make sure it's along the green axis to give you a true elevation view. But you can see how that actually gives you a cut all the way across your building. And the nice thing about this is you can save this in a scene. So I could add a scene and I could just rename this. And we can just call this building section or whatever you wanted to call this, view. Well, now if I rotate out of it, and you can see how if you rotate out of it, you get some weird clipping. So to get rid of the clipping, you can just go back into perspective mode. 
So just go back and click on perspective just like this. So you can get rid of the clipping that way. You can also get rid of the clipping by clicking on one of your other scenes that you've saved. But you can see how I can come back and I can click on this building section view and this is still in here. So um, this allows you to create really quick section cut views inside of your models. And since we're talking about this, let's go ahead and take this over into layout just so I can also show you something you can do. Like let's say you only wanted to focus on this area right here and not show this door or anything like that. I'm going to show you a quick way to do that. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to send this over to layout in order to use it as kind of an example. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to update this scene and I'm going to save my model. So I'm just going to do a file save. So you're going to want to save your model before you send this over to layout. And then we're just going to do a file send to layout. And what that's going to do is that's going to pop up layout and you're going to go ahead and go in there and uh, you're going to select a template. And so layout popped up on my other screen and I can't drag it across without selecting a template. But what this is gonna do is have us select a template. And in this case, I'm going to use probably one of my templates, which is just the SketchUp Essentials template. You can use whichever one you want. But what that's gonna do is that's gonna open up a template file with this viewport inside of SketchUp or inside of layout. And so you're gonna notice what this does is this brings this whole view in based on the way that it was set up in your SketchUp model. Well, let's say that I only wanted this to show up for this portion of the building right here. And we'll go ahead and we will set our scale to something a little more realistic, maybe like, um, we'll start with an eighth of an inch and see what that does. And so one thing you could do is you could come in here and you could try to like adjust your viewport box in here in order to get the view that you want. That's definitely a valid way to do this. But what this doesn't, what that doesn't do is that doesn't give us like fine control over what's shown. So instead, and I will link to a video about this in the notes down below, we're going to use what's known as a clipping plane. What a clipping plane is going to do is that's going to allow us to clip out everything that isn't inside of a box in this viewport. So let's say I just wanted to show this portion portion of the building right here, maybe to right before this gate. Well, what I would do is I would just draw either a rectangle or a closed shape on top of this. So something like this, and I'm going to draw that based on the area that I want to show. So let's say I want to show just what's under this box. Well, then I can select this viewport do a shift click and select this uh, box that I drew right here. And we're just going to go to edit, create clipping mask. And so what that does is that actually masks out everything inside of this view in layout um, that isn't under that box. You can see how what this allowed me to do is this allowed me to create an elevation view inside of SketchUp that I could then use in layout without having to add any additional section planes. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Was this helpful to you? Did you know you could do this? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. On. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.